All right, podcast after E3. Uh, let's start off with uh, what we're most excited for, like what one game or device or whatever. You first. Well, as far as what I'm excited for, yeah, there's not a lot. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but just the the number one thing. Probably the uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland. What the, fuck? Right now. <laughs> what the fuck is that it's uh it's the new borderlands style game it's the same oh. people that made borderlands but it's a spin-off because they can't make any more borderlands games i guess i guess that series is just done so it's uh, a spin-off of that but it has a bunch of comedians in it so they're still gonna go with like the same tone um and whatnot elements but uh they're just gonna change up the uh the stuff a little bit. But I'd be interested to see what they kind of do with that. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I was really happy to see Outer Worlds is getting number two. Number one was amazing. And uh, Avatar game. That's going to be fucking awesome. Yeah, so with the Borderlands, actually, uh, as soon as you said Borderlands, I uh, that, that ringed a bell. Um mm-hmm. Uh, so hopefully that game is like uh, Fallout New Vegas, uh, and like you know right. Borderlands Three is like Fallout Three. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see. Right. But and why I, why the Avatar game? Is that a single player, multiplayer? Like what what's so great about that? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing it's probably going to be a single player thing. Um, they just released a CGI regular trailer. Uh, but Ubisoft is making it. I love Ubisoft games. It's kind of a guilty pleasure for me, even though a lot of people don't like their games. Um, Because they're cheap. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed's awesome. Uh, I loved Rainbow Six when we first played it. Far Cry is one of my favorite series uh, of games. Um, Yeah, Rainbow's Rainbow's legit, but some of the other single er, shooters... Watch Dogs was awesome. Uh, that was my first PS4 game. What about Tom Clancy and those kind of games? Why don't you play really those? Them. Well, because they don't really have any out besides the stupid Wildlands shit. I tried playing those and they're kind of boring. <laughs> okay. But um, I don't know. I don't know if you liked the movie when it came out, but when the movie came out, I, I loved the Avatar movie. I thought that was really cool. Um, at least back then. I don't know if it still holds up. I haven't watched it in a long time. Um, but it'd be cool to see the, a game version of it. Yeah. Plus, it's different, man. I mean, every game that comes out is uh, either just a shooter that you played a million times or you're fighting with a sword or something. I mean, every game just keeps getting redone and redone and redone just a little remapped a little bit you know and this is going to be something that's almost completely different a little off the walls so uh, it'll be nice to get a little bit of a change yeah redone like battlefield hey that battlefield was awesome (laughs) i've got did you see the gameplay uh trailer for it yeah does that not look fucking awesome Maybe visually it looks good, but the gameplay. I don't though. see myself getting a big rush and playing it. I love how in the yeah. trailer too, there's just a sliver of a second where the gun actually shoots. The rest of the time, there's just shit going on. Right. The the uh, changing attachments uh, mid map and uh, mid game. That that's really cool though. I do really like that. Cause, I mean, if you're outside versus inside a building you know uh calls for different things maybe different scopes something like that you know changing call of duty too in between lives mm-hmm. pick up guns on the ground yeah that's in between lives this is like while you're still alive that's no that just when you're winning that elevator whatever no i think you can just do it whenever As far as as far as what it looks like, you can kind of you can just do it whenever. And I think that's what they were going for. 
Uh, I think they said that it was one of the reasons that uh, Battlefield got delayed too, was they were trying to make sure that it got seamless. What do you think of uh, what do you think of them doing one twenty eight people on uh, next gen and sixty four on the old gen? I, I make sense. I mean, I know towards the end of my PS four life, I was, I was lucky to really even get through a game of like what fifteen twenty people on Call of Duty. Um, or even zombies. <laughs> zombies I was just gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Um, no. the PS4s are just getting old. They can't really run these games anymore. Are you gonna sell um, yours? No, no. I like to keep one just in case the PS5 shits out on me or something. At least then I got a backup. Especially since you can't get a PS5 unless you pay another scalpers. <laughs> Why didn't uh, Sony do a press conference this year? Because uh, of the PS5 shortage or what? I think they didn't want to piss any more people off because you can't get one. Um, but then also, because they do their uh, PlayStation Play or whatever it is for their own version of things, like almost once a month-ish, they'll release something. And they had theirs like last week. A new one. So. Okay. Plus, I mean, if it was going to be anything like the uh, Xbox and Bethesda panel, I wouldn't have wanted to watch it. Because <laughs> that was absolutely horrible. <laughs> yeah, so my... Uh... The game for me, 3, I want to play the most, but probably won't because I don't have this console. Um, cause again, there wasn't a whole lot of competition this year. <laughs> um, yeah. obviously bummed out. No, no seeing the next call of duty. Um, right. at least not yet. Um, so yeah, the game, you still hear me? Oh, what, August? Or actually, never mind. Never mind. It's working. Yeah. Um, uh, the Mario party. Coming out on the oh Switch. <laughs> it's bringing back... It's going back to its roots. How they, how the game was structured back on the GameCube. Back on the N64. Even back on the first Wii version. And yeah, it's even bringing five maps from the N64. Showed off two of them. One of which I played. So, yeah, again, that was my... Uh, that's the game I want to play the most. Am I going to buy a Switch to play it? Fuck no. <laughs> you going to buy but, a, a Switch Pro? <laughs> no. no. So what's the, what's the pricing on that? Just, I have no idea. I, uh, I just saw the, uh, the GameStop leak. Um, that, I don't know. Maybe you, can, you, maybe you want to edit this part out or not. But that Jackson was trying to, de to defend on Twitter, which was really kind of weird. Um. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that at all. Defending a GameStop leak. Yeah. So GameStop. You're cutting out. A console for the Switch Pro, even though Nintendo didn't release anything on that Switch Pro even at E3, uh, but it was like the day before E3. Which, by the way, I looked at it, and they were only going to give you $300 for a PS5 uh, for a Switch. Which, <laughs> it's like, okay, GameStop, you can go fuck yourself. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then Jackson was on there uh, trying to like defend GameStop. That somebody must have accidentally just hit the wrong button, blah, blah, blah. I think he deleted that tweet, too. But, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> and then do you think uh he he predicted correctly the legend of zelda or they're coming out with a breath of wild uh sequel do you think um he he knew that was coming from gamestop or 
you actually think he guessed and got that right? Uh, uh I think he just kind of went off of it because they showed that really, really short, like ten second or third, ten twenty second um, trailer last year or two years ago. Uh, saying that Breath of the Wild was being made, was coming, so he's like, alright, they have to show us something by now, because what, it was like five years ago now for the first one? Maybe six? Came out the year the Switch came out, because they actually did have a version 2 on the Wii U. Yeah, it was about five years ago. And, and you know, that game, from the first time they showed it to when it finally came out was years, Breath of the Wild. Right. It ca- they it was like announced when like the Wii U was new, <laughs> and then didn't come out until the Switch was new. <laughs> Switch Pro comes out, um, which uh, so I know I'm not a Zelda player. Um, at, by any shape or form, never played any of them. I thought it was boring as hell when we watched Jackson play it for five hours. Um, this one looked absolutely horrible. Like, super bad. I mean, it has, like, time traveling or some crap, and, like, it just, it looks really bad. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't understand it. I, I don't understand Nintendo. I'm not but... going to release a Tekken uh, character for Smash 2. Yeah. But, yeah. No reaction to the Smash character, but all the the same five people out there were all way overreacting that always make those videos, and I don't know. Jackson, so years ago, do you know who Attica was, the YouTuber that committed suicide? Yeah. Um, he, He would get all hyped about the characters, and Jackson would always talk shit, and now... Jackson's one of those people that gets all fired up over him and just 10 other people on the internet or just just I know and kind of in the Smash world that get excited and then never even play the character. You know, and it's people like Jackson and them that are going to make Nintendo be as greedy and as horrible as a fucking company forever. Oh, yeah. No self-respect. Um, and Nintendo is, like, the worst gaming company in the world right now. I, I can't stand them. The games that they release are absolutely horrible. Um, made for kids. Console, yeah. Made, made for kids, like, Lucas, Lucas's wow. age, not our age. Like, yeah. Right. And we have people our age going fucking crazy over yeah. Animal Crossing. For you to get stupid acorns to pay off a mortgage on a video <laughs> game. Um, you know, there was a chart I saw the other day. That's like the second or third most sold game on the Switch. Pay a mortgage. It's called, but don't, but get, turn off the Switch, go and actually like, go outside, get a job, get off unemployment. And then you go pay your actual mortgage. It's Nintendo games are absolutely stupid. All of them, basically, at this point. You know, back in the day, you know, the games that we played uh, in college, like the old Smash and uh, Double Dash, and you know, some of the odds and end ones were actually pretty cool. You know, when they Strikers. came out with the Wii. Yeah, strike. Uh, maybe not strike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a lot of hours in the strikers. Uh, There's a lot of people uh, on TikTok too that that say good things about strikers. God, I hate Nintendo, and I fucking hate it. Um, That's what I was gonna fucking post on Twitter, man. Nintendo is the worst gaming company, and just in all capital. Ugh. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> but yeah, you would have had the oh. Nintendo Nut Huggers after you. Bring it. <laughs> but then, but you know, you know, there, there's like, you know, places in the world like Europe that that are really pissed at Nintendo after some of the actions end of uh, 2020. Not just Smash stuff, but like um, 
uh, again, the YouTuber, Attica, someone made, uh, covers for your Joy-Con, did you hear about this? Or, like, skins oh, with his name on there, yeah. uh, and money went towards, uh, uh, mental health, and, yeah, they shut that down. See, and you have to be careful even when you play a Nintendo game on YouTube or anything yep. else, because then they'll get pissed off and try to take it down. It's free publicity. And yeah, at end of last year, they got they like copy or like more songs. Um, like if you're playing them, they, they get copyrighted. So if you there, there's some N64 games where if you play those, put those on YouTube. Um, It'll just be really hard to not get copyright because so many of those songs are uh, going to trigger that. This is completely off the E3 topic, but I really think the the video game music thing is the stupidest thing in the world. If you put a song in a video game, especially now, in this day and age when everybody screams, everybody, it doesn't matter if you're 5 years old or 40, if you're playing video games, odds are you're probably streaming on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook now. Your, your music is going to end up there. There's no point in you having all these copyright things. You're just going to piss everybody else yeah. off. This is free publicity. People are listening to your songs. I mean, look at TikTok. You know, yeah. all of your music and stuff is on there. People are listening to it. It gets in their head, and then they go and listen to it on Spotify or something, and then you get paid. And I, I'm I'm guilty of that too. Like once a week, I'll hear a new song in there, and I'll go check it out on YouTube. Right. I mean, there's a reason that Driver's License song is like the number one song ever, because it was on TikTok. It got super big. People really liked it. It got stuck in their head, and now she's made like a couple million dollars off the one fucking song. Mm-hmm. It. M to the B blew up. Good for you. Bella. Porch's song. Crazy. It doesn't make any fucking sense. So I know, like, uh, one big one was uh, for Call of Duty. Uh, Bad Graveyard. Uh, Easter Egg. For the zombies. Where you can get, like, the free jug and whatnot on the first map. I guess the song in the background you can get copyrighted on Twitch with and uh, yeah, you can't fight it or anything like that, but it's an Easter egg. People are going to find that. People are going to... Um, so, yeah, Nintendo dropped the ball. Um, again, God forbid they ever remaster a GameCube game or something. Right. Um... Verizon, people were hyped for that, and I guess they just talked about 5G, big whoop. Right. And I kind of figured that was all Verizon's thing was going to be. Um, yeah. Any uh, VR stuff? Um, stuff, I think at least. Like the new gaming laptop and the new GPU, I guess. But I think that was really it. Um, overall, for like Ubisoft, kind of going all the way to the front of E3, uh, the new Rainbow Six Extraction is going to be fucking horrible. Absolutely horrible. I have zero interest. What about um, why aren't people- operators? So you, I, you'll end up having. What's up? So, uh, why, why aren't more people talking about how uh, Halo's getting a free uh, multiplayer? So apparently, it was already rumored or leaked that it was going to be free. Um, but I think, I think it's just Game Pass in general because it's going to be put on Game Pass and now. Uh, if you have an Xbox and don't have the Xbox Game Pass, you're stupid. Um, so people are going to get the game for free anyway. Oh. So I think that's where, oh, we're going to give you the multiplayer for free. Doesn't really do anything for anybody because they already have fucking Game Pass, you know? 
So they're already going to get the game. Um, honestly, I think that's why. But it looked like basically almost every game that was released uh, at E3 besides like five or six were all going to Game Pass. That was a lot of games. <laughs> it's also a lot of games. That's some people are talking about too, yeah. They, they're getting a lot of games added. So, uh, I really hope Sony hurries up with their version of Game Pass because now my, as much as I love my PlayStation games, is like, man, <laughs> said I buy the wrong console to get free games. <laughs> How close is it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, who's better right now, Xbox or PlayStation? It, it was it's neck and neck, man. Because I like the PlayStation exclusives because they're just overall better games, and I like my single player games a lot. Uh, and their 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 single player games are just ten out of ten out of ten out of tens, always almost. But what I rather have like five hundred pretty good games for free, basically. I mean, monthly payment of what 15 20 bucks or something like that which almost already paying on the playstation just for online you know 10 bucks a month or whatever so yeah. that's yeah, 10 extra dollars a month and i i get like 500 games that i can just pick and choose and play whenever i want and some of them are going to be all the fucking bethesda games now apparently Okay, what do you think? Right. What do you think is better, the PGA game you were playing or Mario Golf Super Rush? PGA game I was playing. <laughs> so, right. here's another bone I have to pick. <laughs> is this Bethesda bullshit? <laughs> if I never get to play another Bethesda game again, I'm gonna be fucking furious because. There's a couple times during their uh, little press conference, I thought I was getting Fallout 5. And I was going to flip shit that I was not going to fucking be able to play it. But of course it was just more and more Fallout 76 DLC that nobody cares about. Um, but, dude, I, I, I was getting super mad at one trailer because it was like, oh, I was going back to the Fallout 3 um, map and, and all that stuff. And it was just going to be, I mean, who knows, maybe like 10 or 15, 20, 100 years in the future. But I was going to be Fallout 5. Dude, I was going to flip shit. I wasn't going to be able to play it. Um, but I was looking at all of people's, like, ranked um for announcements or whatever for E three. Everybody has Starfield for number one. You got a minute and a half CGI trailer that didn't show you the fucking game. It just gave you a release date of next year. Who cares? It doesn't tell you anything about the game. It <laughs> yeah. makes no sense. Even the article Why I'm looking at so yeah. the... Even the article Why? I'm looking at has that number one, yeah. And that's all it says, 11th of November, 2022. Right. You don't know anything about the game besides that it's in space and you're going to see aliens. Go play fucking Mass Effect. It's already out. Uh, and apparently Bethesda's you finally using a new engine after 15 years. Who freaking who? It, it, it just bugs me so much. But yeah, that new uh, new Rainbow Six looks awful. That, that's going to die very, very quickly. E3 was mainly DLCs, man. Wait, so they're um, done with the old, old Rainbow? Uh, well, this Rainbow is PvE and not oh. PvP. Okay. It's like zombies or something, but you're using the same operators from 
siege. Yeah, it'll die then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks horrible. Um, there's only, like, one cool game mechanic with it is, like, you pick your operator and you can play all of them, but um, whoever you play, you kind of build up, like, armor, you, like, guns, like, attachments and shit like that. If you die, though, in-game, you have to start all over. Which, that's kind of cool, you know, add a little element to it. But if you're only going to play it for a week or a month, who cares? Because that game's just going to fucking die. Yeah. Um, Far Cry looked awesome. The Mario, Mario and Rabbids thing is going to be absolutely awful. Um, but I'm sure I don't know anyone good. that played the first Mario and Rabbids. Uh, I don't know. Um, Not even Jackson talked about it. I'm sure he played it because it's like an XCOM but Mario. Um, Plague Tale 2. Not a lot of people played the first one. Apparently a lot of people liked it. But that's about as far as that goes. Um... So did Nintendo. you, did you like any of Nintendo's uh, showing products, any games? No, no. <laughs> Not even the Mario Party one. No, I don't like Mario Party. Even when not, we played it, I fucking hated it because I lost every time. <laughs> you see, the thing with Mario Party, if you go first, you have a like. 85% chance that you're going to win because you're going to get to the star first most of the time. You're going to get most of the luck most of the time. There is no skill in Mario Party. Even if you win the mini games, it doesn't help you half the time. Mario Party is stupid. I, oh, I hate Mario Party. <laughs> what did you think of the uh, Back for Blood stuff? Uh, didn't, uh, don't recall that. What do you think of it? I'm waiting for the reviews for when it releases. Um, but it's going to be on Game Pass, so there should be a lot of player base. Plus, it's basically, it's just Left 4 Dead just reskinned a little bit so they can't get sued. Um, so that's kind of nice. Apparently, it's going to be off of a first Left 4 Dead, not the second one, which I like because I like the first one better. Mm. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm hoping for the best. I I would love the, another Left 4 Dead game um, rather than the wannabe Left 4 Deads. Yeah. Personally. Um, I want... I'd play another Left 4 Dead, but I don't want to pay $60 for a third one. Yeah, I, I think this one's supposed to be cheaper. I think this one's only supposed to be like 30 40 bucks, which for me, Left 4 Dead would be worth that if you have somebody to play with. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to get boring. Um, and you, you got to play it enough to get something out of it too, I guess, so... That's why I kind of want to wait to make sure it's going to be good. But, um, but yeah, you're going to play uh, Halo, though, on your... Oh, uh, again, if it's free, yeah. Uh, yeah, the multiplayer. Yeah. If it gets released, though, on Xbox One, as the multiplayer, I shouldn't be able to get on that then. That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. I like um, honestly that announcement. I like that more than uh, battle battle royale Halo. I, I wouldn't play that. <laughs> Maybe like a they day. They gonna... I don't think they said they were going to do a no. battle royale. Did no, they. they... Uh, I'm I'm just saying because I, I uh, saw stuff on TikTok, people speculating that battle royale uh, Halo, but no, I, regular multiplayer. Yeah, that's more of my stuff. The one thing that I do like is they're doing all the battle passes and all that crap like every other multiplayer now, but it is all going to be free, and apparently a battle pass will never expire. 
Um, like, you can go back and finish other battle passes. It's not like, oh, in 60 days, all, all of a sudden this battle pass is going to be gone, so you better hurry up and get to 100, which is impossible unless you pay. Or um, you're a streamer and can sit there eight hours a day and play. Right. So that's actually really nice because if there's, like, a skin or some kind of whatever at the end, then you actually have time to grind for it, um, which I like. The uh, Forza Horizon trailer looked kind of bad. I didn't like it as much as everybody else did. Um, I thought Forza Horizon 4 trailer looked a lot better than this one, honestly. What even like makes Forza so special? Because like, it's the only racing game right now, or what? It's the only Xbox racing game. And it's just been around for so long, I think. And they always try to push uh, push the console to its limits with them. Um, I know when I played the fourth one, it, it's okay. It's not like it's groundbreaking as far as like the racing goes. You get some really cool cars. Um, and it can be pretty, but that's about it. It's just really graphics and stuff like that, but all racing games are supposed to be off their graphics. I'd rather play a Need for Speed game, personally. Who's the, who's the studio that does uh, Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead? Rockstar. Did they have any announcements? Or any new no. games coming up? No. Oh, the, the main announcement is uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X will get uh, GTA Five. They don't already have it? <laughs> uh, but they're going to get their own version, man. Oh, big what? Uh, they got a full. I'm, I'm sure Skyrim. Dude, they brought up Skyrim during, during the Bethesda thing, and I almost flipped out if they were going to release it again <laughs> on PS5 and stuff. Oh. Would you play the first one, though? <laughs> or just skip to the second Skyrim? No, they were just gonna re-release Skyrim. They oh they like were God. showing like the original Skyrim again on the Bethesda thing, and I thought they were gonna re-release it again. <laughs> Jackson buy it two more times. Probably. <laughs> Probably. I was actually really surprised though that during the Square Enix uh, broadcast, he wasn't freaking out over the Final Fantasy prequel game. Yeah. The origin. Yeah. I, I thought he would be freaking out. I was actually kind of... Or, yeah, saying he's going to stream it or whatever, yeah. yeah. I was fangirling a little bit for the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy game. So that looks pretty cool. But that's about it for me. The rest of it was all Japanese stupid stuff that I really didn't care about. Yeah, I I the, uh, see you need to get a switch because then they have the new Metroid game coming out. You can play Breath of the Wild. I bet the I have not played any Metroid on the GameCube, but I bet the GameCube version is better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think they were saying that it's from the GameCube one. The most recent one was the uh, 3DS one. Yeah, because I don't think they had a Metroid on the Wii or Wii U. I, doubt I think it. that was one of those games everyone was asking for and they never played the GameCube version. Um, but yeah, no no hype there. Because um, I, I, I'd probably play Final Fantasy over Metroid and I'm someone that hasn't played either. Right. And I, I played maybe an hour of Final Fantasy fifteen, and that was it. And I got Final Fantasy fifteen and the that part one for Final Fantasy seven or whatever for free off of PlayStation Plus, and I never really played either of them. I probably won't. But uh, 
my biggest problem with E3 this year isn't necessarily with what was announced. It's more of what wasn't because what I want out of E3 is some kind of like spectacle. I don't want to see DLC, 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 DLC. I want you to surprise me with a game that's being released. Yeah. Give me a fucking badass trailer of something I've never seen before or something a little bit different. Yeah. Which maybe that's why I'm a little overhyped on this Battlefield trailer because it was the coolest thing at E3. I mean, nothing else was released that was cooler. <laughs> you know. I'm... When can you say that E3 released one of the best trailers at E3? One of the most hated companies, as far as gaming goes, for everybody else, not necessarily me. And there's... <sighs> yeah. uh, I, I have a problem with that. I just wanted to see new stuff. I got two yeah. new games that I didn't know were going to be released, and they're based off fucking movies. Which isn't always a good thing. Exactly. Because, <laughs> yeah, they just try to get people to buy it because they like the movie. But Avatar, that was released a really long time ago. It's been at least really long 10 time. years. Yep. Around 10 years. And I mean, and the only reason that they're announcing it now and they're making a game about it now is because it's supposed to be like six Avatar movies coming out in the next five years. Oh. Or something. So it, it's all a marketing play. So the game might not even be that good, but they're just trying to get you hyped for the fucking movies. Yeah, now that you say that, there was a lot of just DLC crap. Or like Halo Infinite. Yeah, it's hype, it's free, but yeah, nothing new. Starfield didn't right. show anything. Nothing. See at Thieves. It looks like that was just uh Wait, stupid Jack DLC. Sparrow DLC. Yeah. Why don't you Wait, play uh, Sea of Thieves? Because you're a PlayStation no. guy or what? No, because I'm not playing a trash ass lame pirate game. I'm not gonna get hyped about Jack Sparrow being in a game like Jackson. He, he literally went to Twitter to freak out about that. Why? The game is trash. It has zero content <laughs> in it. You don't really do anything in it. I'm actually waiting for the uh, Skull and Bones game to come out so I can see some <laughs> gameplay of that. That actually looks like a legitimate pirate game. Otherwise, if I want to play a pirate game, I'll play Assassin's Creed Black Flag where you're like legitimately a pirate. Mm -hmm. that, so, game, that game is actually really badass by the way yeah so so in the xbox and bethesda one too i see stalker 2 heart of chernobyl so is this like another fallout or what uh apparent i never played it but apparently the first stalker game but apparently there's a couple of them i don't know how the titling works then but was a game that apparently pushed First person shooters to be what they are, end quote. I argue that's what Call of Duty did, but uh, apparently Stalker did it first. I don't really understand that. I never heard of Stalker before, and the gameplay play looked pretty ass, even though people really liked it. I thought it looked fucking horrible. I thought the shooting was absolutely trash. Um, now you can just hit fire and hit people from across the arena, but whatever. Yeah, I just asked because I, I know Chernobyl is where that nuclear uh, um, meltdown was. It looks like, uh, I don't know if you ever played or heard of it, but the Metro Exodus games. Yeah, uh, I never that's, played them. That, they're okay. Uh, they're not great, but they're, they're fine. That's what it kind of looks like. It's it's Fallout, but it's not. Oh, it's not as apocalyptic, I should say. Ah, E3 was just kind of depressing. I always look forward to E3, even though it's over-promotionalized and 
and stuff. And I was actually really bummed last year when E3 was uh, canceled. Um, and, I, and I hate that a lot of companies like Sony um, and other one, and I think Rockstar even too, won't do anything with E3 anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I like all my trailers at one time or it being like the big release to really show what you got. So I am kind of bummed about that. And I'm bummed that there was really nothing. And I know COVID impacted that a lot, but you can still work from home. So. Yeah, otherwise, I was kind of kind of hit on all the games I got on this list, uh, besides Nintendo. Any interest in WarioWare? No. I like how Xbox and Bethesda have a longer list of games here, or things they showed off than Nintendo. And Nintendo's thing was like 9 o'clock to, what, like 2.30? Xbox is what like was like an hour or two. Yeah, it was two so hours. it's probably it was just long. probably just gameplay Nintendo's, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And the the really funny thing to me about the Bethesda and Xbox thing it was mainly Xbox for two hours. Bethesda went right off the bat. It was like, oh yeah, so you're gonna get DLC content for Fallout seventy six. You're gonna get DLC content for the stupid Elder Scrolls Online. Here's the trailer for uh, Starfield. All right, that's all we have. Oh yeah, go play Skyrim again. And that was that was literally all Bethesda did. Yeah. Their whole thing was maybe 10 minutes, not even. That was two hours. <laughs> go play Skyrim again. <laughs> sure. But, I mean, you pay, I think they paid like two billion dollars or something like that for bethesda and that's what bethesda had to show you was a minute clip of starfield and tell you that there's dlc coming for games i'd be uh, pretty mad if i spent a couple billion dollars personally for that bullshit shit sure. maybe Maybe they're the ones fucking them up. Yeah, maybe. Two years ago, they stole the show. Yeah. <laughs> they were E3. Every, uh, yeah, they, they were. Now. Hmm. Uh, Dying Light 2, though. That, that looks badass. I, I do. I will say that. I like the first one. I like the parkour element of it. So otherwise, uh, like going forward here, the state of gaming, what, what are you playing these days? I feel like I'm just playing crash game after crash. <laughs> um, I've been obviously playing a lot of PGA way too much of anything uh i got back into ufc because i never actually finished my career and i wanted to kind of stream one and then uh i forgot didn't you play people online in ufc and destroy them oh i just absolutely demolished them (laughs) i was like the career mode I have on here is uh, legendary, and even that, I mean, I almost lost the fight the other night, but otherwise, I'm just destroying. And in my dude, I have it where the controls are basically backwards. I have to relearn the controls a little bit for all the special moves. But, yeah. My only problem is you get me on the ground, I can't do anything. I have to be standing up in uh, a boxing stance. If they made a video game, uh, if they made a boxing video game and all the characters were YouTubers, would you play it? Would you buy it? No. They are <laughs> releasing a boxing game, so 
Uh, I was actually really surprised because they were going through like uh, the past, the present, and then the future. So I was like, oh no, here we go. They're going to fucking put Logan and Jake Paul in it. <laughs> no, <laughs> like they'll be DLC. <laughs> well, they might be. <laughs> but luckily they didn't uh, add any of that because I would have just been like, nope, not buying it. This is a bullshit game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is why I've been playing Trash lately. Uh, I got into, I downloaded Fortnite. And I played that for a couple of days now. Um, and while I'm absolute trash at it, it it's kind of fun. Apex is better. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're gonna new season is in uh, two days for Call of Duty. You gonna re-download it? No. I oh, uh, they releasing me a uh, zombies map that it, I'll actually play. There is a new round based zombies map. Uh, I don't know if it's coming out right when the season starts on the seventeenth or not though. Honestly, they don't even have to give me a new map. Here's all I want. Turn Outbreak, those maps, and just give me one big, like, legitimate zombie uh, game, and I'll, I'll play that. Take out Outbreak. Just take that part away, make it into, like, a legitimate zombies mode, not a stupid RPG style, so I can run through the woods while an army of zombies are chasing after me, and I'll be fucking happy. With the cars and stuff like yeah. that, too. But, dude, that, that honestly, if they... I, I'd re-download it today if they said that they were going to do that, and I'd play the shit out of it. With or without you. <laughs> because I think that'd be cool as shit, running through the woods, you know, turning around with my bullfrog or the shotguns, laying them out, and then just keep on running. Because then it'd be hard to train in the middle of a forest, right? Um, so you have that element to it, because those be coming from everywhere else, you know? Yeah. It's all I gotta do, legitimately. Just give me a fucking, like, actual zombie zone. I don't mean no outbreak bullshit. God. Which is like, yeah, tower defense. Push yeah. payload stuff, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean the like the in-game like modes that they have um, in Outbreak are fine. I don't mind them. Some of them are actually kind of cool, like uh, the one where they put you in that tiny house and you gotta defend it. You know, just give you a little extra money or perks or something for completing those games, and then just make a zombies game out of it. Mm-hmm. Take the outbreak part out. I don't, I don't really don't care about it. I don't want to search for a fucking zombie. <laughs> well, we just yeah, have to sit there and get a million kills to get points and yeah. Uh... Yeah, uh, zero interest, zero. So I, I was so hyped when that trailer came out. Like we talked a million times, so so hyped. Uh, and then it was just absolute garbage. They make a game though that's half as good as Firebase Z. It'll be worth playing. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, when, when and if a new map does come out, I which will, will be soon. Hopefully, as long as it's not another outbreak mode, uh, I will download Call of Duty and play it. Okay. All I wanted to hear. Will it be for very long? Depends on the map. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a, if it's just a remake, right? I might only have it downloaded for a week, and then, <laughs> and then that's it. <laughs> right. If it's something brand new and it has just on the tower defense than everything else that I want alright I might play it for a month we'll see
Yeah, that's that's some too. Yeah. If if it's the freaking Kino Der Toten remake that everyone's like speculating or whatever, think they have rumors. Oh, yeah, I'll play that like once <laughs> with you, and then yeah, you you'll probably play it more than me. Yeah, just because I, I never really play Kino. But I mean, even then, I I know the app. I've seen people play it. I might not have gotten very far or played too much, but I've played it too, you know. I, I yeah. don't care. And I hated fucking facing the dogs on that map. It was irritating. It was so enclosed. So, I, I just don't really have any kind of opinion on that. I really don't want that. <laughs> uh, what about... Uh... What was what was the indie game you wanted to play? Uh, it was the twelve minutes, and then the I think it was like called Estranged or something. Uh, let me see if I can find that. Right. How often do you play indie games? I I don't play indie games. <laughs> Are they worse than Nintendo games? No, nothing worse than Nintendo games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Would you play PGA 10 on the Wii? Uh, Summerville. That was the new indie game, by the way. Uh, but, I don't know. Maybe not. Just because of the Wii controls. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I, I do actually. So I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, like the game just clicked in my head uh, the other day, and now I'm just hitting birdie after birdie after birdie. Except for when I stream, apparently I'll just hit bogeys all the time. But uh, wait, have you been streaming? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I streamed UFC and uh, PGA the other day. On Twitch or YouTube? Uh, uh, Twitch. Mm, okay, maybe my Twitch notifications aren't set up. But, uh, I don't know, something clicked, and I've been winning matches now. And they already bumped me up to the PGA Tour, and I'm almost going to fucking beat the game already. Um, so I'm going to probably get bored of that soon. But uh, it's a nice game to kind of just sit back and relax. I think I played it for two hours on uh, stream the other day, hour and a half. Does it have an online mode? Ah, uh, just a career. Oh, so you can't mess people up online? You can. I just don't know how it would work. I don't want to sit and watch people go. <laughs> I, I, that's the one thing I, I wouldn't mind if it was like you or Jackson that I was playing with and watching you guys because then I could you know fuck with you and try to make you mess up you know or distract you so you wouldn't look at the wind or some shit but <sighs> some fucking randos online plus <sighs> like what do you get out of it you know mm -hmm. at least when I beat you guys it's bragging rights and, and stuff like that and it's fun but playing 18 holes with two three four randos that most of them probably won't even have a fucking mic anyway it sounds so boring of course some will have since it's a 2k game it has microtransactions so they'll probably buy like the best of the best clubs or some shit <laughs> yeah, close it, yeah. And be yeah. like nine under while I'm fucking shooting par. So, that's another reason I... Would you buy the Tiger Woods skin if you could play online? <laughs> no. You'd be uh, nope. Roy McElroy. I'm good. <laughs> I'll be. I'll play my dude. 
I'm fucking whooping Justin Thomas right now, so. But yeah, no, I mean, I'm not really playing too much. What are you playing? Shit. <laughs> I've been in the mood to play Borderlands. Uh, yeah, if that ever got cross-play, I would totally get three and play that with you. Yeah. But I think, I think we've already looked that up, and it doesn't. And um, I think you cross-play with Xbox and PC, but not uh, PlayStation, of course. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's on the way. But it won't be coming to PlayStation. No. Fuck you, Sony. Get it on the Xbox One. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I really played it too much on the PlayStation as it is. Not tonight, but I've been in the mood to hit up some uh, Town of Salem, too. Jackson thinks that's all we play. Wait, what? Uh, Jackson, he was streaming some stupid Duck Duck Goose game on his uh, stream. And I went on there, uh, and I was like, yeah. Uh, Vince and I got our ass kicked the other night, you know, because we played uh, Apex. We got demolished. And uh, he's like, oh, you guys kept dying on Thomas of Salem? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think he's convinced that all we do is play uh, Thomas of Salem. I feel like the last time we were playing some with him, maybe we played that. But yeah, Town of Salem's tight. Because that's all he'll play with us. <laughs> I was actually kind of bummed that we didn't play Civ, though. Makes you kind of look forward to... Dude, like... Watch watch some videos on Civ 5 or any other Civ game. It, it's just like... That, that game we played... Or else the settings were fucked up or something. But, like, when you have half the freaking map... You should be <laughs> able to have more than, like, two tanks, two airplanes. Like, I don't know. It's just, that was just fucked up. You like, couldn't have more than that? Like, both of us. It was, like, a struggle, because, yeah, that was, like, all we could have. A few things, and even that was, like, going negative. And then we just... Uh, I, wasn't each... going, I, was, I wasn't going negative. I was, uh... My economy was going up, but I had a, a bunch of planes and stuff there. I just had them on the wrong side. I was attacking you on the two different fronts. But the problem was you and I just had too much base and nukes and everything else. So as soon as one of us would start making some headway, the other person would launch a nuke, and then you can't really do anything with that. So you go on the other side, and all of a sudden, you know, there was just back and forth. Yeah. It was, and, and it like, was going to be a stalemate at that point. And, like, the nuke is so hyped, too, but that was a – that was – it also, like – it just – yeah – Dragged out the game, made it way too long, or freaking impossible to advance. Right, and the other thing too was uh, definitely needed the computer to be at a higher level, because they just rolled over when we finally did start attacking them. <laughs> when I attacked them. Well, see that, and that's the thing, because I know when I played like by myself or something, like the computer actually tried to fuck you up. <laughs> When we play, uh, they just kind of did their thing, attacked once, and then just yell, ran away or just kept threatening you, and um, that was it. And they just kind of rolled over. Then you got, like, half the map, so I was like, all right, fuck, I got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, shit, we played that game for, like, 10 hours. Yeah, that was, like, a playing that until 4 in the morning but again because uh we just couldn't end it it's just right stalemate 
And that was a game that we had played for a day or two before, too. Yeah. So, all together, I think, yeah, we probably had a good, like, 15 hours into the one. One game. Which is really nuts, actually. What else are you in the mood to play? What about Road Company? When are we going to pick that up again? Honestly, I wouldn't mind playing that. I just don't know if anybody else fucking plays it. Or that's our level, at least. <laughs> right. Talking about um, that, too. Everyone, Everyone's still watching the video. I just want you to know, Austin, when, last time we played Apex, Austin here got no kills. Technically. Technically, <laughs> I kind of did, though. A knockdown and an assist, but zero kills. <laughs> Knockdown, assist. I technically killed the people you knocked down, but they gave you the kills, which <laughs> is really stupid because you were dead. But <laughs> I still finished one. <laughs> so that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Shit, it's easy to kill people though when they're down. Harder to get them down. Well, then why why didn't you finish someone <laughs> before you died? Fuck, I don't know. Uh, this is my first time first playing time. it. No, it was not your first time playing it. We played it like twice before. Okay, well, first time playing it on PC. Like, the game's loot is just way too confusing. There's too much of it. I, the only thing that's really cool and I actually really like is the map changes every day. Or every couple of hours. That that uh, no, it's every it's uh, every tw uh, twenty four hours. Oh. So every day at midnight it changes. At least that's what it looked like. Yeah, and then um, you also brought up Rocket League the other day, but yeah, uh, I'm good. I was, I was a badass at Rocket League. I was a fucking stud. Should have went pro. <laughs> Great. You're, yeah, you're saying that, and I'm probably like the only person you beat. I played uh, way back in the day. Um, yeah, stream that. Play that online with people. I wonder if it, Does it have crossplay? Can you play people on Xbox? Yeah, it's fully crossplay. You and I played uh, PC, uh, PlayStation. Good. I want to get um, you in a. I want to get you in a match with my sister and see how bad you get beat. But yeah, give me a day or two <laughs> to get back into it. <laughs> but uh, I know when I was playing, uh, I played right after. Our first year of college is when I really got into it. I played that for like a month straight uh, with a bunch of buddies from high school. And I, I was killing it. Killing it. So I, I remember, um, yeah, er, early on in college there, um, or like the year I lived with Jackson, um, was, we had already been playing Strikers for quite a few months, and I, I thought Rocket League was going to be because I'd only watched it, people that are pretty comfortable with it, and I thought Rocket League was just going to be the next Strikers, and definitely, definitely was not. Like, it, it takes, yeah, just more skill, more thinking. Oh, yeah. Freaking Strikers just loft the ball 24-7 and charge your kick, and, yeah. Or you'd be like Jackson, who gets tired of, uh, getting beat so he looks up all the different ways to <laughs> lob a ball up into the air which I do think is really funny that uh, he was so mad that we kept beating him so he looked up how to toss the ball over our heads and want to tell us how to do it <laughs> <laughs> and just sat there and played <laughs> it day after day right and then uh, he figured out how to do the ultimates before we could ever <laughs> do one. 
And that's when uh, Strikers decided that it was really going to start getting serious. <laughs> you remember uh, um, when you picked the super team and you hit the ball in on your own goal? Yep. <laughs> and then I never played the super team again. <laughs> Remember when the ball went in last second and they didn't fucking count it? <laughs> and like every time we tell that story too, it's always like there's always that you know second or two after the buzzer hits zero, the game continues. But that one time, as soon as it hit zero, the game done, scoreboard flashed up. <laughs> it's just like nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> You, you, have, uh, you have strikers that will take pity on you. But I'll always have Steve McNair looking out for me. <laughs> Even though he's dead. And he's looking out for me from wherever the fuck he is. Hell or whatever. <laughs> for all his street people. <laughs> people who truly believe in him. I remember when ESPN did the... Uh... Oh my god, imagine if they released this and then they had a picture of uh, Street 4 and oh, I thought it was actually coming out because I didn't read their thing. Well, I wonder who uh, who owns the rights. I wonder if it is the... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they made the first three. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, that'd be nice besides another freaking Madden. Right. Which they won't because they're making too much, uh, too much ultimate team money. They don't want to take away from Madden in any way. Oh, unfortunately, shit. bring bring the transaction transactions over to Street Four. No, what are you talking about? Well, I mean, we're not going to be buying skins and battle passes for freaking Street, but. No, people are going to be buying fucking players. Oh. Wow. You'll, you'll we'll have just play your, each uh, other. We won't your... play people online. <laughs> I can just imagine you'll play a street online and you'll just have your, like, shitty no-namers. Uh, and then uh, the other side, oh, Randy Moss, Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, Prime AP. <laughs> I would just be the most bogus thing in the world. I remember one time in the street, uh, just talking about like bogus shit. Um, as as your guy was like, you did like a flea flicker, and like as your guy was pitched the ball, he just like laid out my linebacker. <laughs> yeah, uh, or it was like a pitch or something. And as your guy caught it, he just fucking steamrolled my linebacker. Or someone big it made no sense. Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was McNair, <laughs> or it was, uh, uh, Green. One out of two. I'd like to mod the game and then do, like, uh, instead of picking seven players, you can pick seven offense, seven defense. Right. Instead of yeah, having, like, a cornerback be a wide receiver, shit like that. Yeah. Talk about a game that we need to play again. I'm about to go on YouTube and watch our, our street videos now. Uh, Those are legendary videos. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. If they did that, that where I could pick a full defense on street, oh, you wouldn't fucking score. Didn't we do that, though? Kinda. I mean, yeah, like we do. I I just pick defense. You just pick offense. But like, I mean, like, um, or maybe I take like a quarterback. But but um, I, I I'm just saying, if I could if I could get used to that seven seven on defense, seven on offense. Oof. Right. You'd be fumbling the ball. You'd have guys in your face, twenty four seven. Oh. All I would need is uh, McNair, Green, and a couple other guys. 
mean, you'd be toast. You wouldn't be even be able to catch him because you guys would be too slow. And they gave McNair way too much uh, power, too. And I don't get why we don't see Dante, Dante Culpepper more in the in the uh, draft thing. So he was really good. He was big, too. Yeah. Big like McNair. But I guess McNair could run. I didn't, I've never seen footage of him running before, but in a real NFL, but whatever. Uh, I mean, he was slow. He was just <laughs> able to lay out anybody that came in his way. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was just so much bullshit that happened in that game. And strikers. <laughs> but strikers hated you. <laughs> For whatever reason. <laughs> Why we don't play it. <laughs> Why we don't play it. God, back in the day, I only ever played Donkey Kong. And that's so funny that, yeah, he ended up being, like, so good. Donkey Kong gets all the cool shit. I just had it down to, I'd get right in front of the fucking goalie, charge it, boom. Yeah, it's just absolute trash. I mean, if you think, if you if you thought about of it outside of Nintendo, it would make sense. You have a big ass fucking gorilla. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna dive out of the way if he hits a ball at you. <laughs> but you're a big strong alligator. Right. <laughs> Who's like ridiculously smaller? Big ass girl. <laughs> Do you remember like the freaking mid court curve shots? <laughs> You're the one that started that too, by the way. I know, and I would make them because you would make all yeah. those short ones. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't make any of the other ones. You couldn't figure out how to curve the ball for a while. <laughs> I think that's how I got my first couple wins was uh, doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, but again, the one the one you hit the ball at midcourt, and it was going in up in the air. That game, yeah, you were down a few goals, fucking brought it back, and they uh, came literally down to the last second. I do remember. It was like right when we first started playing. Um... Because I know you turned it on to see what I would think of it. And you're like, all right, this is actually pretty competitive. Because if you play with other people, it was just sweep after sweep after sweep or some shit. And uh, it was actually competitive. I think I won our first game. Then you kicked my ass for a couple of games. <laughs> just doing your Donkey Kong thing. And then, and, uh, yeah, I was down like two or three. And then I figured out the uh, half-court shot. And I... Uh, I think I made like three or four of them in a row. You were freaking out because <laughs> yeah. you didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I like I can kind of remember thinking like, wow, I, this, I, I, I didn't play Strikers like I played Smash or Mario Kart, but like I had some good hours into it back when I was younger. And yeah, I, no one ever, I never did that or computers or anybody shot from mid court like that. The crazy amount of curve and then yeah, I hit it in. Right, because uh, for whatever reason, at the time, the alligator couldn't block that. Eventually, for some reason, the strikers seemed to learn what we were doing and get better that way. But, uh, yeah, that was really funny. And then I went from being dominant to it to fucking trash because you guys all learned how to lob it over my head and I could never touch it, but... I don't even remember how to lob in that game. Is it Y? Oh, L or something? Yeah. Some... yeah. Yeah. And then once we learned how to lob it, then Jackson learned that he could steal it, and then the game just kept evolving as we were playing. Different tactics, different shit. But... I remember, though, uh, to Sean... You know, he was really good at it. He, he destroyed Jackson. Because he, um, he... He was, like, really good at getting the super kicks 
or ultimate kicks or whatever. Um, okay. But then uh, the lobbying he didn't really do, the midcourt shots. But uh, right. that, that's what made him dangerous was the uh, – he could get the plus ones or the time twos. Right. Yeah, I don't think I ever played against the challenge. Yeah, because we only played with him like twice. Right. I think I was he gone for the horse. He must have. Deshaun must have grown up, yeah, with a GameCube because he was he was solid at every everything I played with him. Mario Kart, Smash. Yeah, I think you'd say uh, that you did. If I'm at one hundred percent. You remember uh, the Mario Car- or the Mario Strikers on the Wii? Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. Jackson made us play it. I think we instantly turned it off and booted up the other one. <laughs> the freaking the super shots, how you could get like five or ten or something. Right. Yeah, in, in one time, Plus, yeah. Plus, then Jackson already kind of knew all the. There was less. Really wanted us to face him, and yeah, fuck yeah. That. And then there was less checking, and yeah, all that. Yeah, because I think they did uh, the cards, or whatever, which was absolute bullshit. Yeah. Like the red or yellow cards. Yeah, and there's yeah, it just was the shell of the GameCube version. Which, right. yeah, not a surprise. Well, anything, you got anything else before we call it? Um, nah, just Nintendo sucks. GameCube Master Race. And, okay. yeah, excited to play the new zombies. The new round-based zombies, not the Outbreak shit. There'll be a new outbreak. What about you? Final final comments. E three was horrible. I hate Nintendo. And there's nothing I'm too excited for this the rest of the year. As far as video games, which is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I have to buy the new Call of Duty. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'll end it here.